are you going today? We're going to be reacting to my BF is obsessed with obese girls and he forced me to be one. Um, I feel like this is going to fall in that weird fetish when like guys like to force feed the women. I don't know. It's a very weird trend. Um, let's have a look. <laughs> I'm Lizzie. Hello, Lizzie. And I had an experience that changed the way I viewed myself. Okay, so I'm an overweight girl. I have been like that since a very young age. I got all the usual teasing that fat kids get. People oh, me I remember like, people. I don't know if it's as bad now, but I remember back in my day, like the kids were like savages to like people who were like underweight or overweight. It was just not a good place to be, school. Played me, imitated the way I walked. All of that hurt, but I liked being fat. I liked the way my That's curves felt. The way Should be my... lucky now because like being like thick is like in. My body moved. The other overweight girls in my class would talk about their diets and how they were trying to lose weight. I felt like there was something wrong with me for wanting to stay big. It's like you're healthy. The only downside was that nobody at my school would date me. I was envious of the thinner girls and their football player boyfriends. I really wanted a prom date, but I knew that would never happen. But outside my school, <gasps> I had Excuse better me. luck. There was a surprising number of men online who were obsessed with big, beautiful women. Do you know, yeah, fun fact, back in the day, like, I don't know what era, but like the bigger you were meant like the wealthier you were. So like if you were like chubby, it was considered you were like of higher class. Only poor people were skinny. So this, I kind of, my pictures maybe on it's dating that. sites and forums for men who love guys fat into women. It. I was only 18 and I enjoyed the attention, how they worshipped my body. One guy, Kyle, said he'd love- It's a bit vain though, like how people were just like into bodies and all of that. To go on a date with me. He called me a goddess, saying I was the most beautiful goddess. woman he'd ever seen. I agreed to go to a burger joint with him. He looked <laughs> even better than in his pictures. He was slim and in good shape. I loved that he didn't mind being with a big woman. I ordered a burger and a side salad, and he told the server, make that too, please and fries, no salad. I thought he meant he would eat the other one. But when the dishes arrived, he pushed both toward me. Oh my god. Eat up, he said. I can Aren't sometimes like barely get through one burger. Like I ate like half a burger and I'm, I'm actually stuck. You going to eat? I asked surprised. He shrugged. I had a big breakfast. You can have mine. I finished the first burger, feeling a little awkward that he was just sitting there sipping a that Coke so and watching awkward. me eat. That is so weird. I'm actually full, I said. Maybe we can get a to-go box for the other burger? Aw, come on, he said. I like to see a woman enjoying her food. Hesitantly, I picked up the second burger and bit in. His eyes were practically shining. God, this you're beautiful, so weird. he whispered. That made me feel good. So I grinned and took another bite. Maybe the heart attack that you're eating is not going to feel so good in Maybe a couple months. Maybe you can months. have dessert too? He said almost to himself. <laughs> I did think there was something a little weird about his obsession. This is very But weird. as he told me later, he'd always been attracted to obese women. He said he loved the softness of their bodies, loved the look of their skin rolls. He didn't know why so many men wanted skinny that women. That is so unhealthy. I'd really like to get you even bigger, he said. It's hard to imagine you even more He doesn't gorgeous, care about our health. I think you could be. I was so excited by his interest. I started fantasizing that we'd become girlfriend and boyfriend. Even though he was older, <laughs> I wondered if he would come to prom with me. I mean, you have a heart attack. On every day, he would make me eat I'm a not even lot. Tired, but I'm a yawning. couple of times, I got sick afterward, but he told me it was okay. I'd get used to it. I what? Have you seen that video on YouTube where this chick literally gets funnel fed by a boyfriend? He's like, good job, keep going, yes. That's what this reminds me of. Why do you want me to eat until I'm sick? I tried to laugh, but I wasn't really joking. I just want there to be more of you to love, he said. That made me feel good. Okay. I gained weight fast. I'd already been nearly obese, but now I definitely was. Yeah, that's not healthy. Yeah, that is not good. a lot of good. associated with obesity. My doctor warned me. We can do some tests. Check your thyroid levels. See if there's a reason for the sudden weight gain. I'll so guys, real quick, I have a fun challenge that only takes five seconds to complete. If you leave a like and subscribe to this video in the next five seconds, you'll receive 10 years of amazing luck. And I mean, who doesn't want 10 years of amazing luck? Cause I do. Also put you in touch with a nutritionist. 
I told myself that doctors were prejudiced against fat people. I'd read lots of stories online about you know, that's doctors. what I hate about society. Like, I feel like if you were to generally concernedly, you can't concernedly say, like, hey, like, you're becoming a little bit unhealthy. And then people take it as, like, a personal attack. Like, oh, how dare you? Instead of just, like, hey, you might be on your way to getting a heart attack. <laughs> like, doctors? patients' what? pain until they lost weight. At Kyle's request, I kept eating. That's so I weird. I did start to have some problems. My back hurt. I became out Where's of breath parents very of easily. My clothes didn't fit. The kids at school got meaner. Lizzie, my mom huffed as oh, she took me there, there they are. clothes. We can't keep buying you new clothes. You need to call that nutritionist. If I was a parent, her. man. Kyle supported me, even if my own mother didn't. We are boyfriend and girlfriend, right? I asked Kyle after we'd been seeing uh -oh, each other for a couple uh -oh. of months. I mean, we saw each other nearly every day. He was always telling me how into me he was. He knew I didn't want to have sex yet, and he said that was fine. I was worth the wait. He laughed. Why do we have to like something weird's going on here. Labels, he asked, taking my hand. <coughs> Can't we just let it be what it is? But what was it? He never seemed interested in kissing. He never wanted to go anywhere nice. Just oh, imagine he's seeking revenge fast food places where I could eat as much food as possible for cheap. He didn't ask how school was going or what colleges I was applying to. I told him I'd try to go somewhere close by so we could still see each other. He barely replied. One day, I decided to ask Kyle to prom. It was only a few weeks away, and I desperately wanted to show off to my classmates that I had a handsome man. Oh, cheers. No. All right, let's continue. I thought I was a goddess. I put aside my burger and popped the question. Oh, that's a lot of burgers. He gave an awkward grin. That would be weird, wouldn't it? He nodded to the burger. Finish that. What? I think it would be really fun, I insisted. It might seem silly to you, but I want to go. I don't want to go to your prom with you, you stupid pig, he shouted, slamming his hand oh. down on the table. What? I gazed at him, shocked. People were staring at us. The same what people Kyle Earth? always told me to ignore when they stared at me for being fat. I was humiliated beyond words. <laughs> I got up really and went fled home in tears. That night, I stared at my body in the mirror. I realized I no longer felt sexy. Somewhere, I'd crossed a line to where I didn't feel good, physically mm. or emotionally. This is messed up. I missed the fat body I'd once felt comfortable and attractive in. Kyle eventually texted, telling me he was so sorry. He'd had a stressful day at work <laughs> and hadn't meant to say such an awful thing. Stressful day, balance, It made my your heart pig. swell with hope. <laughs> Maybe he did still like me, but I was torn. Could I ever really forgive him? Oh, that yeah. night, I started getting chest pains. At school the next day, they were worse. The last thing I remember was trying to stand oh, shit. up and, really out you having a heart attack. and get to a bathroom to throw up. Next thing I knew, I was in a hospital bed. My mom was standing over me and looked like she'd been crying. I was so scared. I didn't know what was going on. The doctor explained that my sudden weight gain had led to a blood pressure spike. She said if I didn't start eating healthier, my health problems would continue. I don't know why this is such a shock for people. Like, you eat bad food, you gain weight, you die. Like, how is this I so cried for a while after that. Confusing. Mom asked me what had happened. And finally, I told her about Kyle. Kyle's getting them. She was shocked mom. and scared. Said she wanted to find Kyle and kill him. <laughs> we yep. talked for a long time. And by the time I was released, I was resolved. Never again would I alter my body for a man. Yes, honey. I've been working out with my nutritionist for a while now, and I'm almost back to a weight where I feel good. I've also done some research on fat fetishism. Turns out there are quite a few Kyles out there. Men who claim- I also just want to point out that I have never met a nice Kyle. <laughs> aim to They're love all big fuckers. women, but they don't necessarily love the woman herself. They like the thrill of making her eat a lot of food and watching her get bigger. I understand now that Kyle never That's really so cared about me. Up. His interest in me was based only on the way I looked. Nothing further.
Oh, oh, it made me feel objectified, and it's taking my self-esteem longer to recover than my body. But I hope one day at least she's losing weight and she's getting healthy. For what happened, and learn to love myself. You know, she's on she's on the right track. She's getting better. She's getting healthy. That's all that really matters. But yeah, um, yeah, nah. Even if a guy told me to lose weight, I'd be like, yeah, nah. <laughs> I, I'm a just I'm healthy. I do me all right. That is so messed up. I didn't realize such a thing. I knew there was like people that were into like fat people, but I didn't know it was like a thing like that. That's terrifying. Anyway, guys, that is the end of the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.